Judges chapter 20. Then all the children of Israel went out. Twelve packages have been mailed out. We are without a God. Because God was to be their king. There's no authority. And man is doing whatever they please. And the congregation was gathered together as one man, unity. From Dan even to Beersheba. Now that's north to south. And every time you see that Dan to Bathsheba. With the land of Gilead unto the Lord in Mizpah. And the chief of all the people, even of all the tribes of Israel. Now these are the leaders of the, of the tribes. Presented themselves in the assembly of the people of God. 400,000 footmen that drew sword. The army. The army is muster. Now the children of Benjamin heard that the children of Israel were going up to Mizpah. Then said the children of Israel, Tell us, how was this wickedness? All right? You're having a meeting. What happened? What's going on? Give us the details. And the Levite from chapter 19, the husband of the woman that was slain, answered and said, I came unto Gibla, that belongeth unto Benjamin, and I and my concubines did lodge, stay the night. And the men of Gibla rose against me. Okay, yeah. And beset the house round about upon me by night. Where's the old man? Where did he go? And my concubine have they force. Upon me by night and those who have slain me. That's a lie. They didn't want to slay him. They wanted to know him. And my concubine have they force. Uh, you gave her to him. You handed her over. The old man in you. That she is dead. Okay, well, yeah. He woke up in the morning. She's at the threshold. She's dead. And I took my concubine and cut her in pieces and sent her throughout all the country of the inheritance of Israel. For they have committed lewdness and folly in Israel. True. Behold, ye are all the children of Israel. Give here your advice and counsel. All right, here's a story, two lies. Now what are we going to do? And all the people rose as one man, unity, saying, we will not any of us go to his tent, go back home. Neither will we any of us turn into our house. We're not going to take any lodging until we settle this. Where's the words of the old man? The law prescribed, the Levite should have known, out of the mouth of two or three witnesses, it shall be established. That old man would be the second witness. They're in violation of the law. But now this shall be the thing, which we, shall, which we will do to give them. We will go up by lot against it. We're going to declare war against it. Well, the true charges haven't come out. It's not that it's murder and rape. It's sodomy and you handed her over. Which forced the sexual abuse and rape. Which would be account to the husband as guilty. Verse 10, and we will take 10 men of a hundred throughout all the tribes of Israel and a hundred of a thousand and a thousand out of 10,000 to fetch victual that supplies for the people that they may do when they come to Gibna of Benjamin according to all the folly that they have wrought in Israel. So all the men of Israel were gathered against the city, knit together a unity as one man there's no prayer there's no asking god there's no second witness 
They have not diligently sought the case. They have not searched out the matter to its fullest. And we already seen two lies that this man has spoken. The Levite. Oh, the man of God would, ne would never lie. He did. And the tribes of Israel sent men throughout all the tribes, sent men through all the tribe of Benjamin, saying, What wickedness is this that is done amongst you? Okay, what what do you guys have to say? Now therefore deliver us the men, the children of Belial, which is chapter 19, verse 22, which are in Gibna that we may put them to death and put away evil from Israel. That is perfectly proper. Give Israel credit for one thing, as far as the charges that lay, they are worthy to be to be death, it's worthy to clean Israel. But the husband had little part in it too. They have not surely searched out the matter. They are missing one witness. In Jesus' trial, they couldn't get two witnesses that agreed with each other. The law prescribed out of mouth two or three. If there's one witness, you can't you can't do nothing. Sorry. Alright, so here we go. But the children of Benjamin. Would not hearken to the voice of their brethren, the children of Israel. But the children of Benjamin gathered themselves together out of the cities of Gibna to go out to battle against the children of Israel. They are protecting the sodomites and the murderers. And that's exactly where America and England is today. We have got a nation that the fact is, even if you call them a bad name, They'll follow charges against you as a hate crime. And yet they have not prosecuted, they have not put to jail one sodomite that has passed on his STDs or any other diseases. And they are protected in this country and in England. England, the Queen has sir knighted a, a, a famous singing sodomite. God called it abomination. So are there people that would protect sodomites in the Bible, the children of Benjamin? All they had to do was hand those sons of Belial over and say, here they are. And from 16 on are the results of a people who protect known sinners and evil wicked doers in the Bible that God says you're to slay you're to shed their blood for the crimes they committed and the children of Israel say oh no 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 Benjamin says no 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 we're got we're going to protect them it's only gonna get worse So they're going to do battle. There's going to be war. It's going to be a civil war because of sodomites. It's in the Bible. And we talked over again, in case you haven't got chapter 19, it says in chapter 19, verse 22, at the end of the verse, we may know them. And 23, 24, and 25, the old man rebukes them for their sin. And we follow up with Genesis 19. You need to get J Judges chapter 19, the, the YouTube video or the audio. You need to get a copy of that and with chapter 20 and with chapter 21, the Lord Terry. If you take chapter 20 and you judge me and find me at fault, you have not done, you have not diligently searched what the matter has to be. Because we're continuing from chapter 19. And in verse 15 in chapter 20, the children of Benjamin were numbered at that time of 
the cities, twenty and six thousand men that drew sword, army. Besides the inhabitants of Gibna, which were number seven hundred chosen men. Well, Gibna is this very small city. If Gibna had to defend themselves against Israel, they would never have made it. They would have lost. And yet, Benjamin God will protect you. Sinners. Among all these people, there were 700 chosen men, left-handed. That's well known for Benjamin. Everyone could sling stones at a hair's breadth, right on the target, and not miss. And the men of Israel, besides Benjamin, were numbered 400,000 men that drew sword. All these were men of war. So 400,000 men of Israel, verse 26,000 plus 700 men of Benjamin, civil war. And what's the war about, sodomy? And the children of Israel rose and went up to the house of God. That's good. And asked counsel of God and said, this is what they said to God, which of us shall go up first to battle against the children of Benjamin? Now you don't see it there, but they are ordering God. That's not asking. God, shall we go and get Benjamin? Which one of us are going to go? God, we're going to do this. Who do you want us to do it with? They are in the wrong. And yet the Holy God says, and the Lord said, Judah shall go up first. Though they're in the wrong, God answers them. And you may be in the wrong, and God may answer you. We read later on that God said, hey, I got this king. I want to have him deceived. What shall I do? And a lion spirit stepped up and said, God, sir, I'll go out and I'll deceive his prophet. God says, go ahead. And that king went to his prophet and said, what shall I do to go? And, oh, you're going to do it. It's going to be great. Peace unto you. Take these iron horns and victory to you. And the guy dies. Ends up in hell. And that's one thing about God is what you want, God will give you. God will answer you. If you don't want the truth, God is not going to give you the truth. And the children of Israel rose, children of Israel rose up in the morning and encamped against Gibna. And I was interested about this. 1 Samuel 10.21 1 Samuel 1021 and this is scripture with scripture 1st Samuel 10 21 a little side footnote here it's not a rabbit trail but it's a footnote 1st Samuel 10 21 we'll look at verse 20 and when Samuel had caused all the tribe of Israel to come near, the tribe of Benjamin was taken. And when he caused the tribe of Benjamin to come near by their families, the family of Matri was taken. And Saul, the son of Kish, was taken. And when they sought him, he could not be found. Now, this is where the king is chosen, and Saul, King Saul, is hiding. Chapter 13, verse 16 of 1 Samuel. Saul is of Benjamin. In chapter 13, verse Samuel, verse 16. And Saul and Jonathan, his son, and the people that were present with him abode in Gibna of Benjamin. Gibna is the home place of King Saul. A king chosen by the people. And there he is. 
And if you remember correctly, chapter 19, and just choose verse 18, we are passing from Bethlehem, Judah. That's where David was born. The first king of Israel, official by God, he comes from a city that's known for sodomy <laughs> in Judges 20 and 19. And there's going to be a civil war here. Israel versus Jude, uh, Benjamin, excuse me. Back to Judges 20. Now remember God said Judah first. We're going to go get Benjamin, God. Which one? And the men of Israel went out to battle against Benjamin. And the men of Israel put themselves in array. That's the first time that shows up. To fight against them at Gibna. And the children of Benjamin came forth out of Gibna and destroyed down to ground of the Israelites that day 22,000 men. 22,000 innocent men are killed because of sodomy. Because of sexual perversion. Because of sexual abuse. And in case you think on, on 1923, Genesis 19, 5 through 7, and Judges 19.25. Those are the verses. Do you realize sodomy and sexually transmitted diseases has taken out many, many innocent people? People who have not anything to do with those sins have gotten the sexually transmitted diseases. And the people of the men of Israel encouraged, that's the first time that showed up, themselves. And set their battle again in Ray in the place where they put themselves in array the first time. We're going right back to the battlefield. And the children of Israel went up and wept before the Lord until even, 6 p.m. And asked counsel of the Lord, hey, we got our butt wet, Lord. Now watch the question between 18 and, and 23. Now 18 said, which of us shall go up first? 23. Uh, Lord, shall I go up again to battle against the children of Benjamin, my brother? Lord, shall we do this? <laughs> Look at the change of heart. Look at the change of, uh-oh. We're not demanding God anymore. Now we're seeking God's counsel. But we're still in the wrong. And they, and the Lord said, go up against him. Go ahead. Their heart's truly not really right. And you got to watch out for those people. Oh, I said a prayer. Or I, I'm sorry. Because you can be sorry one moment and then walk away and be, <laughs> okay, I got finished with that. I'm done with that. Woohoo. And the children of Israel came near against the children of Benjamin the second day. And Benjamin went forth against them out of Gibna the second day and destroyed down to the ground of the children of Israel again 18,000 men. And my rough estimate here, I'm not that very, 40,000 total so far. They went to God. They said, God, what do we do? God says, Judah. God, what shall we do? He says, go again. 40,000 innocent people are killed. The Levite lied twice, and there was no asking of the old man what his side of the story was. And do you know there's somebody else missing in this story? That the an equation was? What's that? The servant. The in chapter 19, verse 3, he brings a servant. Where's the servant? Where's the old man? And again, when you close Judges, I'll go to 21 real quick and read to you the last verse. In those days, there was no king in Israel. I mean, God is the king. Every man did that which was right in his own eyes. And look what's happening. 40,000 people are killed. America's going away from God and she's going to, we're going to do it our own way. 
just do it. Have it your way. And how many, I don't know what the toes were, but how many so far just the school shooting? I don't know when the first school shooting was, uh, the Columbine, I think it was. How many have died so far because of that? Why did those students die? And I'm not talking about the moose, the mall shootings and the movie house shootings. I'm talking, let's just look at this one specific subject, the school shooting. Why are those children dead? Because somebody went to, and bought a gun and they bought ammunition? Absolutely not. Because you've taken God out of the school. And you replace it with evolution. You have taken God out of the children of Israel and you got 40 people, 40,000 people dead. Because they want to protect the sinning. They want to protect the sinner. Given that it's no different than Sodom and Gomorrah. And they ought to know by now, given that Benjamin should know by the stories of the book of Moses, how God felt about Sodomy and the sins thereof. He destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah and her sister cities. The story of Lot. And they turned from the written scriptures and they would have Genesis 19 in the rolls. And they say, no, we don't want God's way. We want our way. 40,000 are dead. And these drew the sword. Soldiers. They die in combat, but they ought not to be in combat. They ought to be in Benjamin said, all right, here comes the men, and they're in chains, and they're in handcuffs. You vile, filthy people. And Israel would take them off. They would maybe have a trial. I don't know. And if they were to be found guilty, Israel were going to kill them. According to the law. And the only people that would have been dead were the people that were the sinners. And when they stand at the great white throne judgment, the blood of these men are going to be on their fingers. 26. Then all the children of Israel and all the people. What is that? Who else is there besides the children of Israel? Gentiles? That's an interesting thing. All the children of Israel and all the people. Got to be Gentiles. Went up and came unto the house of God. There are more people than just Jews. There are Gentiles there saying, that's a sin. Israel is the ones that say, give us the sinners. Give us those that have sinned. We want to put them to death. And there are other people with them. Gentiles are saying, that is wrong. And the children of the land are saying, we're siding with Israel, not Benjamin. Went up and came unto the house of God and wept. And sat there before the Lord. Job sat seven days on the ground in ashes and fasted that day until even. Now you see how serious they are? Now they're repenting. Now they want to get right. Now they truly want what God has to offer, not what they're doing. And offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Lord. They're at that brazen altar. They're at that veil. Where Moses and Aaron once stood. And they're weeping before God. They're sitting down before God. They want the right answer. They're not telling God what to do. They're not asking God half-hearted. They're seeking. They're praying. And they're asking. And Jesus said, seek, knock, and answer. Ask, seek, knock. Ask, seek, knock. And then children of Israel inquired of the Lord. For the ark of the covenant of God was there in those days. And Phinehas, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron. It has only been three generations since Aaron. Here is Aaron with Moses. Aaron dies. Eleazar takes over. Eleazar is working with Joshua. Eleazar dies. 
the third son, Phinehas. He's the high priest now. Three generations of Aaron in the book of Judges to date the book. And to say only two high priests since they've been in the land. And they're in this mess. Stood before it those days. Saying, Shall I yet again go out to battle against the children of Israel? My brother? Or shall I cease? Okay, Lord. We told you we're going to go to battle. Who's going to do it? Lord God, shall we go up and, and battle again? Lord, shall we go to battle? Or you just want to stop this whole thing. Okay, Lord. And the Lord said, Go up. For tomorrow, I will deliver them into thy hand. Okay, now guys, okay, now, now we're in the right terms. 40,000 innocent men later. And Israel set liars in wait round about Gibeah. This is around the whole city now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Be not deceived. God's not marked. Whatsoever man soweth that he shall also reap. Let's look at 1922. In 1922, now as they were making their hearts merry, behold, the men of the city, certain sons of Belial, beset the house round about. They circled that house. The children of Israel, now with God in control, they encircled that city. How big is a house? Well, I don't know. How big is a house compared to how big a city is? And do you realize when we deceive ourselves and deceive God, the reaping we do is a lot more than what we put into the ground. You take a seed of a sunflower, put one seed in the ground, and that thing grows up and flourishes. How many seeds are in that flower? Much, much, much more. We started with a house being encircled with sin. Now the entire city is being encircled. That's the law of sowing and reaping. And only by the mercy and grace will God sometimes step in and give us mercy and grace. And the children of Israel went up against the, the children of Benjamin on the third day. And put themselves in array against Gibna. As at other times. This is the third time the battles come. And the children of Benjamin went out against the people. And were drawn away from the city. And they began to smite of the people. And kill. Still people dying. As at other times in the highways. Of which one goeth up to the house of God. They are on a road that gives you to the, to God's temple. God's holy place. The ark. The mercy seat. The incense altar. The candlestick. The table. The brazen. I mean the, 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 uh, the, the, the sea. The brazen altar. The veil. On your way to that place. Here's a battle of sodomites. A battle over sin. And the other to Gibna. In the field. Type of world. About 30 men of Israel. 40,036 men. Are, 30 men are killed so far. Of Israel. Don't you ever think that your sin is just going to affect you. Others will be infected. And the children of Benjamin said, They are smitten down before us as at the first. <laughs> the same thing. Repeat. But the children of Israel said, Let us flee. Let us run and draw them from the city into the highway. We're going to get them out of that city. They're going to follow us. And all the men of Israel rose up out of their place and put themselves in array at Baal. 
That's a sun deity. That's a city given to Baal, Tamar. And the liars and weight of Israel came forth out of their places, even out of the meadows of Gibna. And there came against Gibna 10,000 chosen men out of all Israel. And the battle was sore, but they knew not that evil was near them. And many of those who are sinners do not realize that that evil is coming up behind them. They don't realize one day that those cargo ships are going to come sailing into their port. They don't realize that the locomotive is going to bring box cars and tank cars of your sins that you have been reaping all the years. They don't realize that the moving trucks are going to come up to your loading dock and they're going to open up that door and those boxes are going to come out. Of what you, Be not deceived, God's not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that he shall also reap. Here it comes. Out of their places, even out of the metals of Gibna. And there came against Gibna 10,000 chosen men out of all Israel. And the battle was sore, but they knew not that evil was near them. Evil is the result of sin. When the Bible says God created evil, that doesn't mean he made wickedness. He gives you a counterpart for what you do for your sin. If you are involved in sexual matters in, in the fact of what we're talking about in 1920, and you are involved with sex that God has not prescribed for man to do, the evil you will get will be diseases. Diseases. STDs are evil from the sins of sex. And the Lord smote the Lord smote Benjamin before the Israel. I wonder how many times in, in what we live today when you get these people who sin and love their sin and however they died, I wonder if it would be the Lord smote them. God kills before Israel. And the children of Israel destroyed of the Benjamites that day twenty and five thousand and a hundred men. Twenty five thousand one hundred Benjaminites. Sixty five thousand one hundred thirty six men total. Uh, how many sons of Belial were there? We don't even know. I don't think there was over a thousand. Wouldn't it have been this easier to hand the sins over to the nation of Israel and let them do what God has prescribed for them? And a hundred men, all these drew the sword, army men, military men, died uselessly. We got our soldiers today that die uselessly, fighting over stupid things such as land and fighting over stupid things such as oil. So the children of Benjamin saw that they were smitten. For the men of Israel gave place to the Benjamites because they trusted unto the liars in wait, which they had set beside Gibna. And then they're, they're, what they're doing is there are people that are in bushes, they are hidden. When all the men came out of the city, when the Benjamites chased Israel, and they were all out, and they were chasing and busy getting Israel, there were men left behind of Israel, and they would go in the city and destroy the city and burn the city. And then Benjamin would turn around and say, oh, no, this is my city. And it's found a recent and, and a practice that happens much in the Bible. And the liars in wait, I mean, liars in wait hasted and rushed upon Gibna. And the liars in wait drew themselves along and smote all the city with the edge of the sword. So there are more people, non-soldiers, that get killed instead of handing Sinomites over and sinners. <coughs> now there was an appointed sign, Jews required a sign, between the men of Israel and the liars in wait. That they should make a great flame with smoke rise up out of the city. Here's the communication. The city's conquered. We won. 
Now, there are going to be people who are going to hear this video and they're going to hate me because I'm against sodomite. I have read to you black and white. I told you, get Judges 19. Follow along. Judges 19 first, Judges 20 second. And then Judges 21, which we haven't done yet, Lord willing, third. The primary sin involves sex. Involves a bunch of men who wanted a man to know them. And we ran the references last night. It's abomination to God. And innocent people will be killed. And when the men of Israel retired into battle, stop. Benjamin began to smite and kill of the men of Israel about 30 persons, for they said, <laughs> Surely they are smitten down before us as the first. Well, look, it's the same battle before. We've done this twice. Let's go kill them. Chase them. Kill them. But when the flame began to rise out of the city with a pillar of smoke, the Benjaminites looked behind them. And behold, the flame of the city extended up to heaven. The city has been destroyed. It's been burnt. And when the men of Israel turned again, the men of Benjamin were amazed. And they saw that the evil was come upon. What's the evil here? Total destruction. Therefore, they turned their backs before the men of Israel unto the way of the wilderness. Retreat! But the battle overtook them. And them which came out of the cities, they destroyed in the midst of them. Thus they enclosed the Benjamites round about and chased them and trolled them down with ease over against Gibna toward the sunrise. They trampled the bodies, they trampled the men of Benjamite with their horses. A picture of the second advent of Jesus Christ, my friend. You think chapter 20 is bad? You wait till God, Jesus Christ, the lion, the tribe of Judah, when that blood is spoken upon the veil, upon the, 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 Revelation 19. Revelation 19. You think it's bad? You wait till Jesus Christ does it. Give him the nerve to tell him he's wrong. Give Jesus Christ the nerve to go up to his face and say, Yes, yeah, not, he should be judged. Let's see what Jesus will do. A picture's a type. A second coming, 1911, Revelation. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, amen. And he that sat upon him is called faithful and true, amen. And in righteousness he does judge and make war, Judges 20. He's making war against the sinners. He's making war against those that would not listen to the word of God. He's making war against those who have taken the mark. He's making war against unrighteous people. Get out of my face, you perverts. I serve God. I'm a child of the king. His eyes were as a flame of fire. He is angry. And on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the word of God. And the armies, that's us, which were in heaven, followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, weaponry, that with it he should smite the nations, kill them. Judges 20. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he shall tread the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of the Almighty God. And he has on his vesture, which will be the blood of the men, and, and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You think this is harsh? What Israel's doing? You wait till the Lord Jesus Christ comes. And that sword that comes out of his mouth, he'll pass judgment upon sinners, upon the wicked. And they will die. And God, Jesus Christ, on that horse will trample them. We're reading future prophecy events of the Lord Jesus Christ in chapter 20. But it's not going to be a house. It's not going to be a city. 
It's going to be the entire world. And if you curse that Jew, oh, you'll get it. You'll get it cursed. You'll get trampled by Jesus Christ. They trampled him. Where was that? 43? Okay. So 43, and trod them down with ease. That's going to be God, Jesus. Over against Gidney toward the sun rising. The sun rising? You mean Jesus coming up? The morning pictures, the second advent? That's a second advent application. And there fell of Benjamin 18,000. All these were men of that. Look, look, you got to study your Bible. You can't just say, okay, I got I got my Bible reading for today. You got to look at it. You got to study. You got to see. There's Jesus right there. There he is. And they turned and fled toward the wilderness onto the rock rim. My rock is Jesus Christ. The children of Israel that want to do right are seeking to God. Their rock is Jesus Christ. And they glean of them in the highway. The highway, Jesus Christ is coming back on the king's highway. He's going to lead the Jews as Moses did into the promised land on the highway. There it is. 5,000 men. And pursued hard after them in Gibeon. And slew 2,000 men. Christ is coming back hard and mean and angry. So that all which fell that day of Benjamin were twenty and five thousand men that drew sword. All these were men of that. They were the elite of the elite of the Benjaminites. They were the SEAL team. They were the, 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 the Green Berets. They were the airborne. You know, they have airplanes. Why did they die? Benjamin? Yes. Bring us those wicked sinners so we can put them to death. Over my dead body. Don't shoot till you see the white of their eyes. And America's doing the same thing that the Benjaminites are doing. Protect the wicked. Oh, you can't put that guy to death. Oh, he's a, oh, he's a product of some oh informity. He's, he's got a mother that loves him. He's so nice. You can't put him in an electric chair. You can't give him that needle. You know, you just got to keep him alive in prison for all his entire life. And God says in the Bible, if a man kills a man, that man shall have his blood shed. The land is not cleansed unless the blood of the murderer is slain. America's bloody. And it'll get bloodier. So all that which fell the day of Benjamin was 25,000 men that drew the sword. All these were men of valor. But 600 men turned and fled to the wilderness into the rock rim and bowled in the rock rim of four months. 600 survivors. That's not many. That would picture the remnant. Not many are going to be Jews that Jesus Christ is going to pick up. And the men of Israel turned again upon the children of Benjamin and smote them with the edge of the sword. As well, the men of every city, as the beasts. Oh, look at that word. The Bible says at that point, the beasts and the false prophet are cast into the lake of fire forever. Satan's chained for a thousand years. Look at that word to show up there. The beast. How come they didn't say cattle? How come they didn't say horses? How come it said beast? And it says the beast. It's not plural. Because <laughs> we're looking at the tribulation. We're looking at the great tribulation. We're looking at the second advent of Jesus Christ. In chapter 20. And all that came to hand. Hand, hand, where's one of the places you put on the mark? Is it the hand? I have preached so much of chapter 20 today that a fancy panty way, uh, uh, preacher in the pulpit is going to fall over and go into convulsions of the things I've said, what the Bible says. And Christians get a hold of this, they're weak and panty waste and worldly, they're going to have to take pills on what I've said. 
and call 911. And yet, this is Bible prophecy. This is Bible facts. Those men wanted to know that man. We ran the references. And look what the outcome is. And what we read in chapter 20, and this is the second advent promise. It looks like maybe the problem, one of the major things of the tribulation period, the last thing after the church is gone, looks like sodomy is going to be one of the main sins. That's the contents. The men of Israel turned again unto the children of Benjamin, smote them with the edge of the sword, as well as the men of every city. Every city. That's Christ coming. Every city. He's going to rule the rod of iron over this nation as a beast. And all came to hand. Also, they set on fire all the cities. Mystery Babylon. She set a fire, set ablaze. The, sail the sailors are crying. All the cities that came and all the cities that they came to utter destruction because of one group of men's sins, Billy. You gotta get back in the Bible, you gotta get back teaching what the Bible says. You gotta study, show thyself approved unto God because you know what? The Word of God is the best book of all the books ever to be and treasures every time you go through reading. I guarantee if you go back and do what we did, Judges 20, when we came through as a family, I bet you would see that we have learned more things. And if, Lord willing, we go through Judges 20 again, it will be more even things. The Word of God's alive. It's well. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall never pass away, is what Jesus said. 